summer 2020 examination of ZTU for the semester 1 and 2 in the subject of basic electrical engineering this question was asked for 3 marks the question is like this a resistance of 10 ohm is connected in series with two resistances each of 15 ohm arranged in parallel so the combination is like this the resistance of 10 ohm this resistance is connected in series with the parallel combination of two resistances of 15 ohm. What resistance must be shunted across this parallel combination? So these are the 15 ohm resistances. What resistance must be shunted? Shunted means parallel across this parallel combination. So that total current taken shall be 1.5 ampere so we require to find the value of this resistance the total current is 1.5 ampere with 20 volt supply voltage so the final circuit diagram is like this plus minus 20 volt so when we apply 20 volt supply voltage in that case the total current should be 1.5 ampere we want to find the value of this register so what we will do is we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law so according to Kirchhoff's voltage law the voltage across this register and voltage across this combination this should be the summation of this because if you apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and the current's direction is like this this is positive this is negative this current further divided into three parts so this will become positive negative positive negative and positive negative so if we give this v1 and if we give name to this v2 uh, you will have 20 minus v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 now we want to find the value of r1 and we can get the value of v1 because we have the value of current as well as resistance so applying ohm's law we can get the value of v1 v1 is equal to current into resistance so 1.5 into 10 means 15 volt so we have the value of v1 that's why 20 minus 15 is equal to v2 so the value of v2 is equal to 5 volt so we have the value of v2 that is 5 volt so 5 volt is applied across this 15 ohm resistor so this is 5 volt so we have the value of voltage value of resistance so utilizing the ohm's law we get the value of this current suppose we give the name of the current is i1 i2 i3 so the value of i1 would be 5 divided by 15 so 1 by 3 ampere same way value of i2 would be 5 divided by 15 is equal to 1 by 3 ampere now we don't know the value of resistance r but we have the value of total current that is 1.5 ampere so the total current is divided into three parts uh, if we apply KCL Kirchhoff's current law at this node we can get equation like this 1.5 ampere minus it, I1 I1 is 1 by 3 minus I2 I2 is 1 by 3 
then minus this i3 i3 would be r and this is p2 the value of p2 is 5 so it would be 5 by r and this should be 0 so from this we can get the value of the r the value of r is equal to 6 ohm we can have the value of i3 from kcl i3 is equal to 1.5 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 so it will be like this 15 by 10 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 45 by 30 minus 10 by 30 minus 10 by 30 so 25 by 30 is equal to 5 by 6 so we have the value of current i3 that is 5 by 6 so we can get the value of resistance i3 into r is equal to v2 v2 is 5 volt i3 is 5 by 6 into r is equal to 5 therefore r is equal to 6 ohm